Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric and I have some eggs to hatch. So I have no idea where this huge verdant egg came from. Let's see, it is another Elizabeth. It's a runner. Okay, not bad. We have a large rocky egg here. I think this is going to be a mine big toy. That's the word. And it got neither of the parents' skills that I wanted. Uh, in 18 minutes, this egg will be ready. In 13 minutes, this one will be ready. Uh, crap. We have, maybe we can build another base this episode and work on getting some, like, nicely strong pals. I've just been working on some progression while you guys have been away. Uh, we put down a power, or uh, what's the word? A workbench, a production assembly line. So now we can make, uh, refined metal items. I specifically want the pick, the axe, and the spear. Maybe the spear? Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, actually, you guys can, you guys can work on that. Over here, I have cold-resistant metal armor all cooked up and ready to go. And 105 events, 250 health versus 45, 140. Ooh, that's a, kind of a big difference. I haven't found a need for the heat-resistant armor yet, but I think that's because I hear there's a volcano, like, way up here. So we'll probably have to check that out at some point. We're not high enough level yet, but I want to go through... Uh, pal deck and I want to just complete all the catches for all these guys because the XP scales with your level So like ooh, I wouldn't mind getting a couple more levels. We're at what? 35. Oh, we unlocked the ultra sphere Ultra sphere. Where's high? Oh So we weren't even at the la Okay We have two more like that one more tier sphere after this one the hyper sphere that I was holding on to oh so dearly is only a level 27 thing Oh but they, they get expensive, goodness gracious. But a uh, sphere assembly line two, circuit boards, carbon fiber. Oh man, and maybe, oh, an ice retro saddle, that'd be fun. Uh, so much stuff. Oh, they finished the pickaxe without me, me even noticing. It is 60 attack versus 30. Whoa, that's quite the upgrade, but it's a little heavier, 300 durability, two. Oh, so it's better all around, nice. Oh, I think I cut it over the last episode, but the rare materials that are just like rare can be sold to a high for a high price. Right now, I don't think they have any crafting like stuff and things, so we can just sell them to the merchant, which is nice. I'm going to go do that right now. So right here at about uh, 190 minus 41, there's this area with one, two, three, four, five, six coal nodes and one two three four five six seven eight metal nodes so i think we're do we want to put another base here and maybe get rid of the the last metal one because like look how big this map is like you need to tell me like there isn't somewhere really cool somewhere else you know i'll at least keep this in mind all right right up here there is a fast travel point so there are some of the, what's the word, Raindricks, but they're all like level 25, which is like more reasonable for me anyways. Uh, just, ooh, silver key. And right here is another one of the boss towers. So, oh yeah, and, I, and the huge verdant egg that I forgot already. Uh, so, n noted, this place would be, oh wait, I could probably fly up to there, can't I? But yeah, m maybe this episode, I don't know how strong we have to be for it. Oh, okay. You picked a fight with me. I guess we're doing this now. There we go. Nice. I believe those are used in quite a few uh, breeding combinations. Uh, let's see. I'm just making a little loop. And then I want to fill in this area. Alrighty. In the large rocky egg we have. Okay. And you didn't get any of the good skills. So you are going to be fodder. And then the huge rocky egg is... A war sect. Oh, I, I heard good things about these guys. So the war sect has level 3 transporting and lumbering. And when fighting together, increases the player's defense and applies fire damage to the player's attacks. That's nuts. We have large rocky eggs to hatch. Are they going to be the Exoldier? Swift, ferocious, logging... F oh. Oh, that might be pretty good. Because we need logging. Swift, ferocious, glutton, waterproof. Let's do, I, I want to go check out that one. Man, so Swift, Ferocious, Logging Foreman, and Blood of the Dragon. See, this is pretty darn good. The hmm. <laughs> do I want to try to get, like, Nimble on here as well instead of Blood of the Dragon? Or should I just invest in this one because, like, 
They're, pr they're pretty darn rare. Uh, let's pick up the Giga Grappling Gun and let's craft this one even though we're skipping a step because we don't get the next one till what, level 47? So yeah, but we're probably going to be able to end up unlocking most things by the end of this episode. Dang it, another lucky gummoth. Like, what are the chances I get... Oh wait, no, I have two l lucky chickpeas too, so... Joy. I, I heard the sparkles, I'm like, oh, finally! So we just took down the Nightwing. I went to the temple, got upgraded my catching power, and now we're going for after the level 23 Quivern? Uh, let's do this. So... <gasps> uh, oh, I... <laughs> you are adorable. Hello, I almost don't even want to fight you. You want to fight me though? Okay, let's do this. Voice over Eric here saying, I decided I want the next episode to be just full of boss fights. But this one is important for the future of the video, so I'm just going to leave this one in here. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. Hello, I love you. Behold, the Giga Grappling Gun. Ooh, I can say that without slurring my words. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's, well, let's just try it out. Durability. Doesn't look like the durability goes down because I've been using mine a little bit. Now, how f does it go farther? No. That's not that big of a difference. That's disappointing. But I want to head over to that, whatever that is. Alrighty, so we're here and just take a look around, I guess. I, I, I feel like I'm looking... What are you, just a cactus? I'm looking... PIDF infantry. I'm gonna stay far away from you. And wrote a stam. I can't wait for this game to get like some more story to it because like this is a pretty darn cool structure if you ask me. But then again I am easily impressed. High grade tech manual. I always appreciate one of those. Oh, an Azerobe. Haven't seen one of those apart from the boss. I just want to like metal Lots of metal. Even though it's called oh, an Elfidoran. There is a boss. One of these. Pen kings. Okay. Is this? Wait. Th these are all bosses, but like not boss. Oh, you are a little cutie patootie. Yeah, that's cute. That's real cute. Wildlife sanctuary. Number one. Oh, okay. There's some coal here. Not as big as I was expecting. That's what she said. Oh. Criminal activity underway. I am... How do I make it stop? How do I make it stop? You know how we just spent the entire last episode... Beautiful flowers. Oh, I have not seen those. I thought those were just decoration. So you know how we spent the entire last episode hunting for one of these stupid things? We could have caught him right here the whole time. It doesn't say we're being criminals. And it's only level 22, so we should be able to get it. Can I just, like, 2%? It looks like we're going to have to use a better sphere. Unless, you know. But, but, on the bright side, that means we can get ones for breeding easier without having to wait for the eggs to hatch. You know what? While we're here, let's try and catch this egg. Eldifferan? Because it is adorable. Can I one more? Oh yeah. Uh, I, I'm out of, basically out of spheres. So we gotta go back and make some. Hey, and it's unstable. <laughs> you mean to tell me there's not a single hidden goodie up on these pillars? That's lame. Hello, Grizzbolt. You're new. I haven't seen you before, but there are people right over there. But we're not. Oh, and there's people right there. We're only moderate criminals. Come on. Let's whittle you down a bit. One more. 70%? I'll take that. But we are like out of speed. Out of spheres. Wow, I have a hard time with that word. Very cool. Okay, uh, let's let's skedaddle for now. Ever since I built that lantern, the nighttime it just glares so much. It's so hard to record with it on. 
So I've been exploring the map a little bit. Uh, there's a Bushi boss over here that we'll probably take on here in a minute. Uh, Loranis? That's new to me. And then I'm like, so it was, we could only see these two islands at first. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, third island. And then if you just sit here for a second and you, you, you look, and there's a mountain that I somehow glossed over. Uh, I'm going to go check that out. Oh, so I was going to do a little clip about, oh, so this place is called Mount Obsidian, apparently. And then we're going to go check out that dungeon to see what level it is to see if we're like in too deep and if I should be scared or not. And then I heard a little thudding and I, I looked around. Oh, so here's where the heat, I'm, I'm going to need heat resistant armor and you're level 40. Okay, Brothers of Pyre Mountain. Uh, let's go get heat resistant armor and uh, then we'll be back. Because that, to me, looks like... Actually, no, let's go this way. Because so far, I've been fine. Oh, thank goodness for the fast travel point up here. We're burning up. I gotta go make a heat-resistant stuff and things. Ah, quick, quick. Behold, heat-resistant metal armor. And with the uh, heat-resistant underwear that we got from the uh, dungeon one time. 105, 250. Yeah, that's the same. So now, we should... Come on, switch. We should, whoa, we're cold, but we are immune to uh, heat stuff. So that's nice. I know where we're going in the morning. This place, oh, oh, lots of metal over here and looks like a dungeon. So one, two, three, only six. I'm looking for eight or more and I'm yet to see a pal anywhere. Oh, I need a silver key for that one. And I've been marking on the map. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but like, uh, dungeon yeah dungeons and that oh goodness no shop that one's the shop these ones are dungeons there's a fruit tree a skill fruit tree there's a chest that needs unlocking uh yeah not not very many so far there's another chest that needs unlocking uh oh i think that i'm doing these ones are shops and these ones are dungeons okay uh let's see yeah this is the level 40 whoa yeah not quite yet there are shipping containers all over the place down here. Very interesting. Oh, they're brothers of the eternal pyre murder. Oh, run. Run. So in Cinerams, I seen some Dumuds. Yeah, like right there. Van worms. Nothing too exciting yet. Uh, speak of exciting. Fisherman's Point. There's a fast travel point. Looks pretty... Anybody? Oh, I see a couple people. So you're level 40. Please tell me there is something cool here. Oh, um, I wasn't expecting this. Fire... These are not the same. Makeshift handgun. You can buy ammo here. Noted. Helmet, grad cap, golden crown. Actually, I have enough... No, oh wait. He was... I was not expecting you to have new stuff. Do I seriously have to check every single... Can I... Yoink. I'll have to check every single one, won't I? Oh, this officer just gave me three sulfur. That's surprising. Uh, I guess I'll have to go talk to everyone, eh? It's normally just a lot of fluff. That's why I'm not bringing you guys around. But if I find something cool, I'll let you know. Okay, of, of course the next one I talk to is interesting. So, not a soul believes me that shooting star, whatchamacallit, was real and felt... Real fire into this here volcano gives me the shudders just thinking about... Wait, did you just change what... Basically, it just said there was a meteorite that crash landed in the volcano, but it had wings. So I think I know where we're heading. Uh, this pal merchant sells some pretty decently high-level guys, but they're expensive. Like this Reptaro? We have the ice version of it, but 40 grand. I could afford it if we went back, but I just want to keep exploring. I see this lift monk effigy over here, and there was another one. Oh, I thought that was a chest. There's another one over that way. Oh, I think right there. Uh, we need 25 to level up one more time, and we're at 22, so not bad. We're almost there. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's just a normal merchant. So all that's here. I feel like there should be more. Oh, you can't even see it on the map. Uh, so the one merchant sells ammo, and that's about the most interesting thing there. I was hoping... Oh, there's a Bushi, but it's a high level, so we're probably going to have to get the one that's the boss later. Oh, wait, no, we already have, have one. What are we talking about? Well, this is a Fengalope. That's new. What level am I? I'm level 36. What, uh, Q. 
One, two, five. Okay, let me. Hey, hey, bugger off, bugger off, bugger off. I'm going to use up all my stuff and things. Would you kindly? I, I didn't mean to throw that one. I didn't. Wow, this is not going well. Oh, finally, finally. Oh my goodness. Uh, we are, what, half health? This ain't good. And we're almost out of balls already. Oh no. Ragnarok. You look amazing. However, I think we're going to keep looking for now. And I'll get you in a minute. So, a few things of note. There is a crap ton of Lift Monk effigies around just from this stretch to over here. We're finally getting to another fast travel point. Ooh, I don't know if that's a large or a huge egg. But the bird is hungry, so we gotta go back home real quick. And I'll probably whip up a couple more. Uh, what's the word? Like, orbs. Oh, that's a big island, jeez. Uh, a couple more orbs, and then we'll see what's going on. The Fengalope saddle is level 26, so let's try that out. Uh, the Raindrix, oh, is all the way up at 29. Any other big ones? Beacon, the Quiver, oh, we can, oh, let's try the Quiver out. Uh, I also want the rifle, the ammo. We have someone making high quality cloth already, but let's make the pal bed so we can level up our base. And if we level up one more time, then we can get the refined metal armor, and then we can probably take on some higher difficulty stuff and things. When was the last time I showed off what some pals do? The Ephiren, uh can be ridden as a flying mount. While fighting together, dark pals drop more items when defeated. That's pretty darn good. Uh, ba -ba -ba, not you. We've seen you. We've seen you and you. Uh, have we seen the Felbat? Uh, when fighting together, the life steal. I think I've said that one already. The Quiverin can be ridden as a flying mount. Enhances dragon attacks while mounted. Mounted? Sort of like the, um, what's the word? The ch chill it? Uh, Grizz Bolt can be ridden. Can rapidly fire a mini gun while mounted. Now that is cool. Let's see who else there is. The Fangalope can be ridden. Can double jump. I hear this thing's really fast. Uh, cool. Oh yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's swap out you. Let's see how fast this thing really is, eh? I whipped up the saddle right here, and then so if we go, no, let's come down here. Let's. My, so my dire howl does have the swift ability on it. Come, come here, pretty. Oh my god, dude, come here. So, just get a feel for it. We're running. We're running. Okay. Nope, wrong button. And then let's switch over to the fanglope. First of all, very cute. Reminds me of Cobalion. I don't like how the camera sits though. That's... That's... Oh. Boing. Jesus, that is some mad hops, dude. Heck. Is the, you know what, I want to work on getting a good fanglope and then we'll see, we'll, see, we'll see where we go from there. I also want to uh, get the saddle for uh, just other flyers. And here's a quivering saddle. So we've seen uh, like how fast the Nighthawk is. This thing has been upgraded once, so I don't know if like that's it's faster or anything for that, but it's still pretty darn slow, not gonna lie. Now, if we get off you, quivering. Massive, by the way. Let, let me on. Massive. Is that faster? So I think we are going to stick with the uh, quivering because I was doing a test from, see that little green spot right there? From there, all the way to the roof of the house, the quivering did it in 11 seconds, and the Nightwing could only get this far before running out of stamina. So uh, I, I think we have our winner. Plus, so I got to level up the quivering a bit more. However, it drops more materials like when you fight dark stuff. So that's pretty darn good. We're getting some pretty good guys. Uh, I just noticed I only have four more slots left in my boxes. Uh, what happens once I fill them up? That's a scary thought. Heck, a large fire egg just gave me a new guy, a pyron, and that leveled me up. 
And then the large rocky egg, please. Okay, another dig twice. Do you have any good skills? The diet level. Clum. Dar. Uh, no. Uh, at level 37, we unlock the refined metal armor and the metal helm and the ice retro saddle. So let's make all of that. Oh no, I forgot my spheres at home. That thing's so cool. That thing's so cool. Nope, running, running. We're out of here. Oh yeah, that's pretty fast. Jesus, B. Wait, how much damn? Oh, so it's like a little flamethrower. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't see it, but apparently there's a level 50 jet, jet trig on. Uh, that's the highest level thing we've seen so far. I think that's, it's not, not max level, which is uh, kind of crazy to think about. Remind me not to go over there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, right there, that's another sanctuary. I'm yet to see a, uh, what's the word? A fast travel point nearby. Oh, is that a huge egg? A huge fire egg? Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Number two wildlife sanctuary. Heat resistant metal armor. Isn't that what I have on? Then that's an upgrade, but I don't know for how long though. You guys see that, right? A Jormantide Ignis? Uh, so, a Wumpo Botan? Those are new to me. And the reason why I'm on foot is because the, uh, the Quivern almost died. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think I'm ready for this stuff. But I want to try and get some chests because they might have some good blueprints. That there is an Incineram Noct. Haven't seen one of those before. I don't want to get too close because they might like beat me senseless. Uh, well, there's a castle right here. Oh, it's pretty big. Looks like it on the map. Uh, let me bring you in for now. Uh, oh man. Oh heck, this castle looks absolutely massive. Jesus, Pete. Blaze Howl knocked. Jeez, that's cool. So cool. Dang, no. We, we just hatched a Ragnarok. I'm, I'm not I'm never expecting these. Like, I thought we had... Oh, well, yeah, we must be getting to the end of all of these. But no. Uh, let's put the huge and then a couple more Scorchings in there. So I just... I, I uh, ranked up the Rush Ore because I was running out of space. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Hardhead level 2. Watch this. If it does it right... It does it twice now. Oh, that's oh, and I'm encumbered. But Jesus, that oh, ho, 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 that opens up a lot of stuff. Behold, a hell zephyr. We've already seen one of these. However, I think now we're probably aptly ready to take it on. And oh, uh, it's at about half. I'm at about half. This uh, okay. Uh, let me get off. Switch. Yeah. Switch. Hey, hey. Uh, what are you looking like? Five percent? Twenty percent? I mean, I know I'm gonna have to get a little bit lower. All right. Fire tornadoes are just a little scary. Uh, should I try one more shot? No. Come on, twenty percent. If not, I have some gigaspheres. Fifty percent. Nice. Do we want another one? I knew I should have got that one. That one has a runner. Not, it's not quite swift, but I'll take it. So the Hell Zephyr can be ridden as a flying mount. Applies dark damage to the player's attacks while mounted. Alrighty. I want to see how fast this one is. With a 20% increase to movement speed. Oh, I just realized my boxes are full. Because I go to pick it up and it doesn't go in the ball. So, joy oh joy. This video is getting a little long, so I think I'm just going to explore the insides of the island just a bit. Or we'll maybe go around this way and fill it in. And I'll bring you guys back if we find anything interesting. But, like, this game looks surprisingly good. Oh, that's a level 49 boss? But I... Oh, there's a treasure chest back there. Alright, in, out, smash and grab. Let's do this. You look very cool, though. Freaking... Oh, an emerald. I think that sells for quite a bit. 
But uh, let's run. Ah, uh, so right about here is where the Repteros are. I wouldn't mind picking some up later, but there's just so much like high level stuff and I have like no pow balls. I know this is all my own fault, but shh. <laughs> and here we see some Demuds burning to death in lava. <laughs> oh jeez, guys. Um, I don't know what just killed me. Like, I flew over the... Can you not fly over lava? Because I, I just blamed those demuds for the exact same thing I just did. Okay, let's try this. There's my bag right there. Flying well above the lava. I'm still dying. Oh, yeah, if I can land down here... Alright, this is stupid, this is stupid. So basically you can't go for that lift monk effigy or else you die, which is stupid. I'm pretty stupid though, but we got it. Alright, here's that huge scorched egg. Let's see, a blaze how oh. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to check that out in a second. That is very cool. Got uh, just another Ping King, but those are always good because they're hard to get. And these are probably going to be nothing, just Fox Parks. It'd be nice if it was one of those, the horse things. At least, oh, and we leveled up too. Not bad. Blaze Howl Knocked can be ridden when fighting together. Neutral pals drop more items when defeated. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. King... Uh, and 20% increased burning speed, level 3 kindling, level 2 lumbering. Okay. Oh, you learn at level 35. That's... Yoink. I, I want to learn one of everything eventually. Oh, Hell's Zephyr one too. Uh, let's see. I, I wonder what all these ones are. Well, well, well. What do we have up here? A fast travel point. And a big old statue of Anubis. He's on all like the cover art and whatnot. Uh, so this is where we go here, and then we mark it, and then we food, and because that's a skill fruit tree. But not a lot of guys, you know. But I will take that egg on his tail. Oh, and a lift monk effigy. Now, what is at the top of the volcano? I see a boss tower with the little fast travel point up there, and another fast travel point. I'm gonna take that egg. No huge eggs. Oh, I thought I was just about to burn. You could hear it sizzling up here. I'm like, oh, is that is that the game gonna bug? But oh, I need another silver key. I, I don't. I wish there was a. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not risking that. Unless there's a huge egg. I love how I'm looking at my screen at a different angle trying to see it. Jesus. Uh, boss tower for the future. Brothers of the Eternal Pyre. Okay. Not much. Well, I'm pretty darn sure. I was about to say, I'm pretty darn sure this is the highest point of the map. And then I look over there. I'm like, is that slightly taller? The, it looks a lot smaller from up here. That's for sure. But I don't see much of anything some ore no huge eggs one large and just a bunch of normal sized ones i'm still yoinking them anyways but uh, i'm honestly a little underwhelmed these are gobfin ignis i don't think we've even seen normal gobfins yet but mm, i like them i already made a little bit of a mistake but can i okay i'm, I'm actually gonna wait for the shields to recharge and there's a huge egg right there. But it's awfully close to the lava. I just flew over it and I got burnt again. So I'm like, ah, okay, yeah, that's how this is going to go. What if we wait for night and for the lava to cool off? All right, in, out. Let's do this. Where's my grappling hook? Uh, let's do grappling hook. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I don't know if I've shown it or not, but there's a Pyron and Noct, which is pretty cool looking. We're getting awfully close to the lair of the Jetragon, but I'm yet to see it. 
Oh, heck, there it is right there. Uh, 10,000 health. Wait, I want to, uh, the hypersphere? But it's not zero. No. No. But I will look for any dragon eggs around here, because you never know. Uh, excuse me, sir, I believe you may be in the wrong place. Oh, heck, oh, heck, oh, heck. So, I found something. I found something very, very cool. But we're going to die. No, we're not. We're 75% health. He is. Look right in there. A huge dragon egg. Now, the real question is, can I get it? I... Jeez, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me... Get rid of you. And grapple over to you. Okay. Huge dragon egg. Now, let me out. Okay, you're doing good over there, pal. You're still good on health. Successful heist. Let's let, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Run, run. Oh, and another huge scorching egg. Oh, over here is pretty good. Where are we? Like right around here. Uh, but as you can tell, I've uh, picked up quite a few. We, I think we almost need to make a base. Oh, hey, lots of metal base up here because this is the only place where the scorching eggs will be at 100% efficiency. That looks like a giant meteor, but uh, I'm not one to judge. Well, it looks like I have quite a few eggs to incubate, but my box are full, so when you hatch an egg, they just pop right out here. So uh, I will see you guys in an hour and 20 minutes. If you guys want a lot of scorched eggs right here on the map, it's a great place for them. I almost missed this fast travel point right here on the map, uh, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and fill in as much as I can, but it's just a bunch of sheer empty cliff cliff faces, which kind of sucks. Uh, right here, there's a dungeon. Uh, you can find them by like all these lava falls. This little island right here has a couple of coal nodes on it. What's that? Five plus a metal that you could probably get all together. Plus it looks... Oh, huge dragon egg. I didn't even see that. Welcome to what my life has been like for the past, like, hour. Just empty cliff face. There appears to be another dungeon right about here. Right there. It's going to be another level 40, so I'm not even going to bother. Alright, this bit is important. Right here on the map, so... Oh, I've heard about that guy. But, uh, right here, so, like, minus 588, minus 403. Eight sulfur nodes really close together. I almost flew right past it. But I have no idea where the Astagon boss is. So, all in all, that island is a letdown. You get a crap ton of scorched eggs and sulfur, but that's about it. Uh, so... Oh, you notice these little black spots. If there's something in those little black spots, and oh, I, I just give up. I give up. I, I've spent the whole, whole time these eggs have been incubating. So over an hour, like almost an hour and a half. Actually, where was I? Uh, but you see three bosses here, way above my level. I really want an Astagon. I hear they're so cool. So anyways, let's uh, finish this up and hatch these eggs. Uh, I should have enough space in my boxes. Another Blaze Howl knocked. That's good. Uh, these two are just larges. I probably should have done them first. A Pyron. Okay. They're quite fast, but I, I think the knocked version is faster. A no that was just a large, was it not? And then the piece de resistance, a huge dragon egg, and it is a Germantide Ignis. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have two more huge dragon eggs that we'll have to hatch in the next episode. Uh, but thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, this game has been a blast so far, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye